if you struggle with procrastination, poor memory, completely unorganized, you have a never ending to do list, you have tasks across business, work, personal life scattered everywhere, you don't know what to do every single day, this video is for you. I am so excited because I love this app. It's made getting things done so effortless and easy. So in this video, it's going to be a tutorial how to use TickTick to organize your work and personal life so that you get more done in a day than most do in a week. Let's begin. So I just created a brand new account. The website is TickTick, T-I-C-K, T-I-C-K dot com. When you sign up with an account, here the first thing they're going to ask is what features do you need? I would just highlight all of them. Tasks, calendar, Eisenhower matrix, Pomodoro timer, and a habit tracker. The fact that it has all of these for the price is so, it's like less than three bucks a month, something like that. It's so worth it. So select everything here and then go ahead and click continue. Next, it's going to say, hey, what list do you need? I would recommend just starting off with work. We're going to add another one right after but just start with work, that's all. Then click get started. Now we're at the home screen where they've already given you a bunch of tasks and, and lists trying to get you started kind of thing, but I'm gonna show you just completely from scratch so that you know exactly what to do. So go ahead and just delete. So if you go to lists on the left-hand side, click delete and say, hey, are you sure? Yeah, because this is all demo stuff. I'm gonna show you just how to do it from scratch. So the first thing we're gonna do is create two lists, one for work tasks and one for personal tasks. So on the left hand side, you see a section that says list, click the plus symbol and it's going to say, Hey, do you want to add a list? I'm going to say yes, personal. So I think it's for personal tasks. For example, I'm just going to give it a color red. For example, I recommend doing the view. You could view it like a Kanban board or like a, like a timeline, like a roadmap, just keep it list, keep it simple. That's what this tutorial is going to be. Just keep it simple. Don't need folder starting off. You're not going to get that complex later on, graduate into that. But I just want you to do the basics for the first 30 days and then add more complexity later on. But just practice these things as the basics. Then you can also customize the emoji. So I'm going to click right next to personal and then I'm going to choose just a smiley face. You could choose any emoji, but just two little emojis. That way I have two lists, one for personal tasks and then one for work tasks. The next thing is adding tasks to TickTick. -tick. What I recommend is just brain dumping. Just dump, whether it be a work task or personal task, just give it to TickTick -tick in your first step. So here I'm gonna go to this inbox section. Think of that as just like inbox. Inbox means that it hasn't been categorized yet. So just dump it in there and it's one list to be filtered in the next step. So the first step is just brain dump. I have a task, say for example, I need to take out the trash. So I just type it in right here, this little bar right here and press enter. Then I have another one say, I need to finish a project for a client or client one, for example, for Bob, Sally, whatever. I'm just brain dumping personal tasks and just keep going. I'm going on vacation soon. So I have to plan the trip. So plan vacation trip. So the next step is now that I've given a bunch of tasks to notion and they're all saved. You can see right here in the inbox and you see a little number right there. Great. Inbox means it has to be categorized and then add a due date basically. So there's a little bar right here, for example. So now I'm going to click and drag and do that one for personal tasks. Let go. This one does a work task. Great. Take out the trash. That's a personal task done. I've cleared out my inbox, I clear out my inbox once a day. First thing to do in the morning, I clear the inbox and then I'll go and do work later. Now that all my tasks are categorized, the next step is to prioritize based on date. If I go to my personal tasks, you can see I'm in my personal list. If I click on take out the trash, the top right hand corner, this is the details where you can add information, more information about the task here in the upper right hand corner. I could add a priority like oh, that's a low priority. And the second thing is I'm going to schedule when I'm going to do this task. So when you click on due date, this button right here automatically tag it for a task for today. This one is it automatically makes it a task for tomorrow. This one automatically just pushes it out seven days from now, or you could use the calendar feature here to schedule. Say, for example, I'm going to do it tomorrow. I can also click this button there. If there's a specific time that you want to set it to, let's say I want to do it first thing early in the morning, let's say 6 a.m. Doesn't really matter. You could also have this repeat, for example, and then also tick tick will send you really cool notifications. So let's say that's okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the next task, such as plan a vacation trip. So I'm going to click on that, go to the right hand side. This is a higher priority and then due date. We're going to do this today, for example, and then I'm going to click okay. And while I'm here, 
I'm going to write out step one all the way to step done and add any details, for example. So this is what I do. This has great markdown text too. So you could click on the plus symbol and you can see all these different ways to, to stylize the text, for example, or you can use shortcut keys, which I highly recommend. So we're going to practice shortcut keys. So press the backslash. It's on the lower right hand corner of your keyboard and then type BU for bullet list, click enter. And now I'm ready to type a bullet list. Here I'm just going to save some details that's important, like the cruise, ship number, date of departure, and budget. You fill those details out. So those facts are saved in Tick Tick and they're not stored in my brain. Next, I'm going to add tasks, for example. So I'm going to press enter. Remember, always want to use shortcut keys. So I'm going to press backslash. Great. Type CH for check item. Now we got a little checklist. I need to buy the tickets, I need to pack, and I need to schedule transportation, for example. Just different steps. If there's more tasks that need to get done, then I'm just going to add a couple spaces. Like if this was like a really complex project, for example, I'm going to then say, say, for example, I have the pack, packing list. I'm going to highlight this text and press Command B to bold it, which is super nice. Press Enter. Awesome. Backslash. Press CH. Got our checklist. Nice. I need to pack my scuba gear, clothes, and sunglasses. Just keeping it simple. But now I'm storing everything in TickTick, -tick, which is super nice. And then when I'm ready to get stuff done, say I did the tickets, packed, scheduled transportation, now you can do a little checklist item. Super handy. The main thing here is to just write everything that needs to get done because you may start this task on like Monday and then you may get busy and you may need have to come back to this like on Friday, for example. Knowing exactly what needs to get done before you get to the last checklist item is super helpful so that you know what's already been done, what needs to get done, and when is this task completely completed. Now we're going to repeat the same process for my work tasks. So I'm going to go to my list for work. I have one project here, finish a project for client. I'm going to click on it, scroll to the right. There's the header. I'm going to give it a priority. Super important. Hi, give it a due date. And we're going to work on this today. So I'm going to click this shortcut button right here. Boom. Due today. Awesome. I'm going to take 10 seconds and just write out what's the first thing I have to do. So backslash CH4, do first thing, do second thing, send to client. Okay. So now I know everything that needs to get done. And let's say... I also recommend doing like details with bullet points, like client's email is bob at gmail.com. Client's budget is, let's say $10,000, whatever, whatever details. And then their account number is one, two, three, four, five, whatever, something like that. The important thing here is show what I'm showing is brain dumping all the details, what I call the facts, the most important things to remember so that you don't have to remember them basically, right above the tasks that you have to do and what's step one, step two, and what is step done, done. So as soon as I check that last task, this task or project is completely done, at least for me to know, for example. So now I'm done with the three-step process. First step, we brain dumped. We just gave all our tasks that we have to do to the inbox. Just give it to Tick Tick. You can do it on your phone. It's super easy. Second, we organized it by putting it in which list. Is it a personal task? Is it a work task? Drag and drop. Super simple. Third is we gave it the details. We did the priority, gave it a due date, and then we wrote out all the facts that need to be saved that are necessary for you to complete this task. And then we added all the steps, step one, all the way to step done, done, for example. So now that's completely organized, the great thing is when you wake up in the morning, it's time to actually do tasks or do work, for example. You can go to today in the upper left-hand corner right here. In the today list, it's nicely organized by priority, top and down. You can also organize it or sort it. So if you go to this little sort option, you could sort by date. I like to sort by priority, for example. So everything is due today will show up today and then it's sorted by priority. Highest priority at the top, you can see a little icon red and then it will change the color if it's medium or low priority, which is super nice. Next, I'm going to show you how to plan your entire week. So on the left hand side, you could click what's due over the next seven days, for example, a little tab right there. And I can see, ah, Monday, I have these tasks. Tuesday, I have this task, for example. This is nice, but what I recommend is using the calendar feature on the left-hand side. 
So if you click on calendar, you definitely want to pay for the premium version so that you could play with the calendar function, but you could view this calendar by day, week, month. It's very easy to click and drag and move tasks around. This is the best way for just planning out your week or planning out your month in a whole view, for example. And then this will also sync with your Google Calendar, so it makes it super nice. Next, I want to show you is the Eisenhower matrix. So on the left-hand side, you want to click on this little icon right here. And this, in the upper right-hand corner, these are tasks that are urgent and most important. And then tasks at the lower right is not urgent and not important. And it makes it very easy to take a task and move it around so you could plan out of the 10,000 things you have to do, what is the most important, what is the least important, for example. The last thing I want to show you, which is also my favorite too, is the Pomodoro timer. So if you click on the little bullseye icon right here, now we have the Pomodoro timer. If you click on the time, you could change the time block, for example. So 25, I like doing 90 minute blocks. Click OK. Great. You could click start, but just know using the Pomodoro timer is in the premium version, so you definitely want to pay for it. But you could click start. It will time block on your calendar. You could also do a stopwatch. Lastly, the most helpful feature too is if you're on a Mac, highly recommend being on Mac, command K as in King, for example. This brings up the search so that I can search for tasks, like say, for example, vacation. And I press enter. It will show me, oh, there's that task with those keywords, for example. So everything that's in TickTick -Tick is completely searchable, which is super nice. So that's the basics of how to use TickTick -Tick to give you a quick start guide. That's just enough to make you very dangerous and very efficient, for example. So I highly recommend create a TickTick -Tick account today. Dump all the tasks and projects that you have to do in the TickTick, -Tick, organize them, give them a due date, and then start getting work done. Once you finally complete a task, you could click on the little check mark right here. Boom. Or on the right hand side, when you click on a task, there's a little button right up here that will also complete the task. And it's so satisfying completing tasks, which is, oh, which is amazing. If you want to take your skills to the next level, join the AI Mastery Academy. We have courses on TickTick, -tick, Notion, and a bunch of other AI tools to make you super productive and efficient in your work and business. Just click the link below to join the community. I'm Jonathan Acuna. Hope you learned something. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.